Hello, I'm Jan Mulvey and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm Chris Pajak and this is the starting 11 predictions show for the massive encounter with Manchester United at Anfield on Sunday. Um, it's being billed as sort of a winner takes all as far as top four goes. I don't think it's as cut and dry as that. I don't think the winner... Uh, will put the loser out, out of the top four chase at all, to be honest. I think it'll be a big blow to either side. But looking at Manchester United's fixtures afterwards, they could still drop points even if we were to lose. That being said, um, it's about the psychology, isn't it? I mean, if Liverpool go into this and we do beat Manchester United, hopefully that'll put, basically just put the shits up them because they've got some massive games coming up and I think they'll think if they drop any more points Champions League will not be viable for them next season. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get straight into the sides. Uh, I've gone with Simon Mignolet in goal, Emery Chan, Martin Scale and Mamadou Sacco as the three centre-backs. I think we all know that that is our best defence at the moment. Now, a few changes I've made. I think Markovic might come back in for this game to play alongside Henderson, Allen and Moreno. I think Moreno's been key for us. I don't think we've got anybody else to play on that left-hand side at the moment. The Obviously, the thing would be Sterling maybe for Markovic or even Glenn Johnson because Emre Chan could come under pressure if they put uh, Marouan Fellaini over on that side. I don't. I think if there's one weakness Emre Chan's got at centre-back, it's his aerial ability and Fellaini, obviously, has got masses of that. Uh, and then up front, I've gone with Lalana and Coutinho behind dun, 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 Raheem Sterling. Uh, I think we saw in the Southampton game it was when Raheem Sterling played up top just what he offers. At the moment, you know, Daniel Sturridge isn't back to full fitness yet. I don't think we're going to see the best of him this season, certainly not this early on anyway. Um, I think he's a great option to have on the bench. I don't think Steven Gerrard will be involved either. Um, so for me, Lalana, Coutinho and Sterling start. I think if we can get in and around their defenders, hustle and bustle them, they could have trouble with that and that's why I think Raheem Sterling might play up top obviously let me know what you think in the comment section below you might think I'm on crack if you do let me know in the comment section below if you completely disagree with me and you think it's going to be same as last week with Sterling on the right hand side storage up top obviously let me know if you've got anything different to add as well leave your comments don't forget to leave your start 11s in there I'll be in there after the video goes live uh, and replying to comments anyway thanks for listening uh, give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hello, welcome to Red Men TV on an evening that saw Liverpool get past Gary Monk Swansea City side by one goal to nil at the Liberty Stadium. Yes, it was a nail biter, yes, it was god awful in the first half, but yes, we did come away with all three points, which is the most important thing.